Welcome back to the Happy YouTube channel. In today's class, I'm going to learn how to make this beautiful bow that we see here. So this bow just has its way of lifting any simple fabric. Once you place this on your design, it just makes it automatically really beautiful, and it comes out really well. So you can wear this on your prom dresses or whatever plain dress that you have, and it just bring the dress to life. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this beautiful bow, I'm working with this organza fabric. You can work with any fabric of your choice. You can work with this decorative fabric as any fabric that will just make it beautiful because the highlight of the dress is actually the bow. So you make it as beautiful as possible. So we all know organza fabric is soft. It's not so strong. And you will need the bow to stand firm on the chest line, okay? Although you can also tack it, but you need it to be firm as well so to do this you can add maybe an interface maybe a gum stay to it but i would not like how gum stay will look on this so i'm going to be adding crinoline to it so i'm adding this crinoline if you notice this crinoline is not the regular strong crinoline that we use for our pear plums it's a decorative crinoline and it has this gold trimming all around it which i like and we know organza is a see-through fabric so i'm just going to place it underneath by the time i place it underneath like this you can see that all this beautiful gold design that we have here can be seen on the organza which is why i have decided to strengthen my fabric with this organza as against working with interfacing another thing you can do is to double the organza you can double it or triple it just to make it thicker than what you already have here so now to fix my crinoline what i'm going to do is to open it up you can also sew it but for this design i'm not going to advise sewing because you don't want to be seeing the same line all over the place so i'm only adding this to the lining part so you can just iron it and then the measurement that i have here is for the width of the bow i have 20 i have about 20 i'm going to work with about 24 inches okay so that will be 12 inches for each side well it depends on how how wide you want yours to be but for me i want to work with about 24 inches including seam allowance and then the length of the bow is going to be 12 inches for me okay 12 inches length and 24 inches width so now you you fold this into two by the length because you need it to remember we are adding something to it so this is going to serve as your crinoline so now instead of having 20 12 inches i'm going to have 24 inches by 24 inches but for the length it's going to be on fold okay so that it's going to serve as my lining so you can see i have folded mine this is the fold point so this is the lining and the lower part is going to be your main fabric as the case may be so like i said i'm adding this crinoline to the lining so i'm just going to open it up like this whichever side i choose to be my lining and then i'm going to bring in my emming glue then after bringing in my emming glue i'm going to open it up and then cut the amount that i need so after cutting the amount that you need you just decide to start placing your crinoline on top of it now and then you apply heat for it to glue them together so now i'll go ahead now and do this i'm going to spread my emming glue up to where my lining is going to take and then i'm going to place my crinoline okay so i'm just going to place the crinoline side by side make sure that i don't leave any space in between them and then you're going to iron it so i'll do this now and bring it back to show us what we have okay so i have gone ahead to add my crinoline okay and you can see what it looks like on the other side so this is the lining and this other side is going to be my main fabric so you make sure you iron it well for it to still to to glue the crinoline together with your organza because this is also going to add as the as the thing you're going to use to give structure to this organza so you need it to stay firm okay so now this is going to be my main fabric so to sew the main fabric i'm just going to turn it right side of the lining facing the right side of the crinoline of the of the main fabric you can see this is the wrong side where we have our crinoline so now after placing them side by side like this remember this part is on fold so you don't really need to sew it but you can also sew it if you want 
so now what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and sew all around it so that i can turn it out so i'll sew all around and then leave a little space to turn it out on the side so i have gone ahead to sew it all around now i'm just going to trim off whatever excess that i may have and then i left a small hole on one side so i'm going to turn it out from that space that i left out Just trimming it to the very minimum, and after trimming it of this old, that this small space that I left, I'm going to try to pull it out from there. If it's not enough, I'm going to broaden it, but I'm just going to try my best to pull it out. So, after pulling it out now, it's going to be puffy. You just take it to your ironing table now and iron it again. Or you top stitch it if you don't have access to iron but you just make sure that whatever you do make sure it is relaxing well so i'm trying to bring out all of the sharp corners and then i'm going to do the same thing for the other side as well so this open part where you turned it from you find a way to just tuck in the same allowance and then you can use your aiming glue again to hold it down if you don't want to sew on it so i'll go ahead and iron this now okay so after ironing or top stitching it this is how flat it's going to look and you can see what it looks like on the underside and you can see what this our crinoline is giving to it you can see how beautiful it is so now the next thing i'm going to do now is to turn it like this okay we are trying to create the midpoint here or you can just measure it and divide it then you chalk the middle line so after doing this now you go ahead and gather the middle line i just run a gather stitch on mine and then i'm just going to draw it together so that i can create a gather here you can also use your needle and thread to do this okay so you carefully gather it to i think around depending on what you want basically the width that you want so from two to three inches or four inches is fine for me so that is what i'm going to be gathering this to just going to gather it little by little okay so i have gathered this to around four inches okay that's what I gathered mine so if you want it more you can just gather it a little bit more and this is what you're going to have so I think this is about three inches so this is totally up to you and what you want so now after gathering it the next thing I'm going to do now is to cover up this stitch with my trimming okay I'm just going to place it over it like this and then you can use your glue to join them together or you tack them then after covering with your trimming you take it straight to your dress and then you tack it to your dress so i'll just take this to the mannequin now so that we can see what it looks like okay so i've gone ahead to tack this to this dress that i already have but just look how beautiful this bow is looking on the dress and you can see that the crinoline that we applied is just giving us that dazzling effect that we have there you can see how simple this bow is to make and how beautiful it has made this gun it just gives the gun a lift automatically i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and if you want yours to be bigger or smaller than this all you just need to do is to adjust your measurements and there are also organizers that have so like I was saying, there are organizers that has this decorative design on them. So if you can get them, you can just use it. But if not, you can just improvise like I have done here. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.